In this video, we will show you how to stop life-threatening bleeding with tourniquets. Stopping heavy bleeding from arms and legs is your highest priority because it can quickly lead to death. Tourniquets are a safe, effective, and fast way to control heavy bleeding. Commercial tourniquets are faster and more effective, but we will also show you how to improvise a tourniquet. The first thing you should do to treat heavy bleeding is apply direct pressure. Once you have slowed the bleeding, you can apply a tourniquet. This is a commercial tourniquet. Commercial tourniquets can be applied in less than a minute and can safely control bleeding for hours. They're often found in trauma kits. Use a tourniquet if there is rapid bleeding from an arm or leg, or if a limb is amputated, even if it's not bleeding heavily, because it will probably bleed later. Most tourniquets consist of a strap, a buckle to hold the strap in place, and a handle called a windlass for twisting. Always place the tourniquet as high up on the limb as it can go without being on the joint. Place it high since you may not be able to see all of a person's injuries. In an emergency, it's better to stop blood flow to the entire limb. To use it effectively, you need to pull the strap through the buckle as tight as you can before you start twisting. This tourniquet is called a SAM XT and has teeth that click through the holes in the strap when you have pulled it tight enough to start twisting. Once it's set tight, twist until you can't twist anymore and secure the windlass. If placing a tourniquet on a leg, empty pants pockets first to remove any obstacles. This tourniquet is called a combat application tourniquet and does not make the click. If you have this tourniquet, which is more common, you must still pull the strap as tight as possible before turning. It should be tight enough that you can't put two fingers underneath. Again, twist until you can't possibly twist anymore. It may be painful, but it will stop the bleeding. Remember, always place it high because you may not be able to see all the injuries, and it's better to shut off all the blood flow to the limb. If you apply a tourniquet and the bleeding doesn't stop, first check whether you can twist it anymore. If not, you can add a second tourniquet just below the first one. This may be more necessary on a leg than an arm. If you don't have a commercial tourniquet, you can improvise one. To improvise a tourniquet, you need three things. A long strip of cloth a few inches wide, a sturdy crank that won't break, and a strip of cloth to tie down the crank. The long strip of cloth will serve as a strap. It needs to be wide enough that it doesn't rope into a tight string, which is less effective and can damage nerves. It must be long enough to wrap around an arm or a leg several times, and it needs to be twistable. People often want to use a leather belt, but it is not a good tourniquet strap because you can't twist it. Also, your strap will be more effective if it's not too stretchy, bulky, or slippery. Start by draping the cloth from the top over the limb, then pull the ends around tightly and tie a knot. This creates a solid base to work on top of. As with the commercial tourniquet, it's most effective to make this very tight even before you start twisting. Then put the crank over the knot and tie another knot over the crank. Lift the crank up slightly as you twist to reduce pinching the skin. Turn until you can't turn it anymore. To hold the crank in place, use another strip of cloth to tie it down. Tie the strip around the end of the crank and then tie the other end further down on the limb to secure it. As with a commercial tourniquet, you can apply a second one just below the first if needed. Recheck them often to ensure they haven't loosened. Check out our other videos and Until Help Arrives classes linked in the description.